Hello, welcome back all you regs and all you shinies to yet another Black Series review. And this week, I'm very, very excited to bring you the Arc Trooper Fordo. Technically not Fordo because the packaging just says Arc Trooper, but you all know that it's Fordo and it's meant to be that character. And I will say, I was very, very excited right off the bat when Walmart had first announced this figure. And I'm even more excited to have it out of the packaging itself. So I'm going to show you all just a quick little thing. The packaging that it comes in is supposed to mock that original Clone Wars package way back in the day. You get Fordo, and what's really nice as well is that you get both <clears throat> the longer and shorter blast rifle that they have. I always mess up the models of the weapon, so I'm not going to try and make an absolute clown of myself. But I feel like this is very much a very nice detail because Fordo never uses them that we ever see in the Clone Wars. So you can very easily throw this on another clone or do something different with your display. So I feel like it very much adds to an arsenal of weapons if you're trying to do some sort of display piece with that. Obviously, this is the front. My favorite detail in the back. I have to turn it like this because of the camera. It's got that very nice bright red very very pretty and so let's really get in to the figure itself this is just kind of a generic pose i whipped up real quick of both the long rifle and then his pistol the one thing i will say too when i was trying to pose him with the pistol this left hand that isn't meant to grip a weapon had a little bit of a hard time holding the pistol it's a little loose trying to move it around a little bit more there we go that's if you kind of get it free from getting stuck, but you can get it his hand a-okay. I'm going to put that back in his holster for the moment. But I just want to take a second to really appreciate this. The one thing that really popped out to me when I had hands-on action with it was just how bright this red is. It looks so good. Every single clone trooper figure we have really gotten very recently all is a member of the 501st Legion. So if you're like me and you're trying to display all your clones on your shelf, they're all just blue. I know I added Boss to my figure shelf recently, so that was able to be a little bit of a splash of a new color. However, this is going to work very well with that Corsant Guard red that we got from the Bad Batch as well. But as you might know as well, this Fordo figure is on the phase two arc trooper body it's just a phase one head thrown onto it now some people were kind of complaining about the accuracy with it but to be completely honest this section right here tech on um echo this was all blue they just kind of did it all white and whatnot i'm perfectly fine with how the figure looks i mean I, I was a huge fan of the clone wars and this section of it as well so I really feel like in the end, they did do the figure justice. The helmet is a very hard plastic. His rangefinder is able to go up and down. Very much a fan now that Hasbro is kind of reverting from that gummy helmet design. I wasn't that mad about it, to be completely honest. Like if you have the 330 second trooper, that's on it. But this one doesn't. Perfectly fine in my opinion. Another big thing people were excited about, the ammo pouch moved, and you can see that little notch over here. I'm not going to be able to get that detail just because our camera doesn't have that good of zoom and a good enough stand. However, everybody's saying now that there's the potential to get Jesse in fives. Jesse was pipeline for the Black Series. When we'll get him? No clue. But going to kind of move this out, put one of his blaster pistols in. One kind of gripe... I will admit with the figure is the whole situation with the comma. It was the same complaint with um, Arc Trooper Echo that because the comma is this hard plastic, it's very difficult sometimes to get his legs to move and like spread out. So this is me just trying to make like more of an action stance, just like with one handed action with the pistol. But it restricts a bit of his movement. But you also have to realize as well that the shoulder pauldron is going to limit a lot of that arm movement. You're able to move his arm around 360, but you're not able to move it up too, too high if you want to get like realistic aiming in. I was doing it earlier with this, and you can sort of move the head around because it has that new neck joint 
you can almost get it to look like he's looking through the sights on the weapon. Like, Crosshair does a really good job of that, but that's also because that's his main functionality, and he doesn't have anything impeding him in the shoulders to do so. But all in all, really just from playing around with it, just for a little bit, I'm very, very impressed with the figure overall. It would have been really cool to get a blue Arc Trooper with it, but one can only dream. Maybe for some of our talented Discord members out there, you'll be able to paint it that very nice, vibrant blue and able to get it to that point. But realistically, there's not a whole lot else I wanted to say on the figure. Maybe if you were on the fence about getting this in the first place because there was that huge controversy that they only showed images of the figure before they had the actual figure available to show you, that people weren't going to get it, I feel like it's a very smart idea to get it. I was very lucky and mine shipped in a box with bubble wrapping, so that's why my card is minty fresh, but if you are a fan of Out of the Basement and a watcher of them as well, and you see them on Twitter, Nate had posted that he got two of these, and the box where it was literally destroyed, like the sides right here were cracked open, like it almost looked like someone was trying to like tear into it in the first place. It was an utter joke of what shipping can be. It is a shame that this is a Walmart exclusive, so there is that competitiveness to getting it, but I'm going to honestly confidently say at this point that it shouldn't be that hard to get it when they restock it. They have restocked Bad Batch Rex and Imperial Crosshair so many times recently that I feel like if you didn't get it and you really wanted it, what are you doing? But again, all in all, this is really all I had to say about the figure. Huge fan of it. Very excited to get my second one that I can take out of box just because I'm going to keep my minty fresh card for right now because I don't want to risk opening this and then get an absolute destroyed one like Nate did. But yeah, so thank you so much again for watching this 1313 review. If you would like to see any improvements with this as well, this is a little bit of a new thing that we're doing. We're definitely not trying to hijack other people's content and be like, okay, we're only going to do figure reviews. I really would like to make it maybe stick to just brand new things that come out that we really enjoy. So if a whole new wave comes out, we're not really going to do the whole wave. We'll just do what we really like about it. But Please drop a like, make sure you subscribe, join the Discord if you're that cool so you can be updated about everything happening with 1313 and make sure you are listening to us on Anchor, Spotify, Apple Music, and anywhere else that podcasts are offered. We're excited to bring you this new episode that is coming out Monday. We had very, very good conversation and discourse about certain events. So thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your day now and we will see you very, very soon. Goodbye.